beautiful man in the business, one of the most wonderful people in the business, and his hair cannot be stopped. <laughs> I'm with Bruce over at the North Star Games booth, and he's gonna show us just like the line, the 2019 lineup. Uh, man, stop, stop. <laughs> I know my, my, my eyes are peering right directly through I know. whatever platform you're showing right. this on. You're, you're looking into my soul at this point. That's what I'm trying to do. All right. <laughs> Thank you, all three of you that are watching. I know. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and go through this stuff. You got a lot You got a lot. To so start. are you ready for the full Billy Mays treatment? Is that what we're going to okay, do? Yes, The full yes. tilt Billy Mays. Long live. Uh, be ready. Be ready. <laughs> Have your camera on a swivel. Here we go. First thing I'm going to show you is the new Wits and Wagers. Oh, my goodness. It's Vegas, baby. <laughs> uh, for this Wits and Wagers, if you remember last year, two years ago, we did a Kickstarter for a mat that was like three foot wide by two foot high. You could swaddle a medium-sized dog in it. Yeah. Um, it is a very similar game to that one because we liked a lot of the principles, but we realized, you know what? A lot of people uh, can't afford a three foot wide, two foot tall mat. So we wanted to show you some really cool stuff. Here's what you're looking at for Vegas Wits and Wagers. We doubled down on the Vegas. So now the player boards look like decks of cards from a casino. So this is what you're getting okay. as the player boards. Okay. So we think that's super cool. Yeah, the that chips is cool. now, these are your player chips. They also look very Vegasy. Yeah. Okay. We also have the, uh, let me flip it over, we have the, the actual chip tray of chips. Uh, these also look like they came out of a casino. We really wanted to give you that Vegas feel. Yeah. Um, if you didn't see Vegas, the new things, there's a red bet and a black bet. They pay you even money on the board. So black gives you all the black stuff. Red gives you all the red stuff. Yeah. And I'll fold this in so you don't need to move the camera. There's also now the track. Uh, you're going to put $1, $2, up to $7. Okay. And that's what you pay off for each question. So it's actually going to help you track the game. Final thing we have are the sorry we're closed board. So it works yeah. like this. Um, ordering around the median is something that geeks are ready to do, but that like normal people are not. Yeah. So rather than make you change where all the boards are, if you're playing six players, you just put that in the middle, bam, you just order them from smallest to largest. If you're playing with five people, you close off these oh, two, okay. yeah, and you yeah, just yeah. go smallest to largest. Bam, this will be out, this will be in your local Target store, it's a Target exclusive. It will be at Target at the exact same time it hits the floor at Gen Con. So if you're a part of Gen Cant, Gosh darn it, you can be a part of it with Wits and Wages. You can come from Target and just like start posting and be like, you don't have this though. Exactly. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, I yeah. did that with Villainous last year. Okay. I bought Villainous yeah. at the Target on the way into Gen Con. Right. And then at Gen Con, people were like, Villainous is sold yeah. out. I'm like, oh, well, look right. what daddy got. You know what I'm saying? I got my magma. You, you got the hot stuff. I got magma and right in front of you. Man. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Magma. So there's the first game. We saw that. It's awesome. Next. I know what you're thinking, Bruce. Oh, man. Talk to me don't, about that quack solver. Don't tease me. Talk to me about that quack okay, solver. Okay, tease me. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> this is going to be called the Herb Witches. Right now we have the German. It's Carl Dachshund. Yeah. So let me show you what's in it. <laughs> I can't even say that word. <laughs> the Carl Dachshund. So fifth player. It's going to be a fifth player. They're colored black. So now they're going to be a different color than all your other colors. We got books. I got so many books. You want books? I got right. books for you. Oh, Take man. all the books. Oh, my goodness. Take I know. All the books. Um, I got a book that's going to blow your mind. Are you ready to have your mind blown? Go. Well, then, are you ready now? Go. I'm ready now. Oh, I thought you said no. No, I said, no, I said go. Oh, sorry. I thought you said no. I was like, well, then I don't want to blow your mind early. You know what? I was too busy staring into your eyes. I understand. I got I understand. distracted. We're both so beautiful. I know. We are. It's a book that gives you six pumpkins. Uh-oh. <laughs> six pumpkins, y'all. It's real. You got it. It's a thing. Enjoy. <laughs> wow. uh, the next thing people say to me is, hey, Bruce, I always go off the edge of the spoon. To which I say, no, you don't. You're a liar. <laughs> Almost no one does that. But then you, you insist. But, Bruce, I always go off the spoon. <laughs> so now we have the overflow dish. When you go off the edge of the oh. spoon, you now put all of your extra chips in the overflow dish, which I can move right here if that works for you. Um, you no longer have the powers from the books. But... The value of all of the chips gets divided by two, and you get extra points for that. Oh, okay. So if you get uh, 16 points worth of extra chips in there, you're going to get eight points at the end of the game. Ooh. So that's cool. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah. That's, yeah. Um, we also have a new ingredient. The new ingredient is called Loco Weed. I know. I see you out there. <laughs> I know you like it. So it is a new ingredient. If you notice, it has absolutely no value on it. Okay. Because the value is determined by the book. Okay. So this says uh, your Loco Weed is worth your number of rats plus one to a maximum of four. So, you can buy them, tank the game. Wow. Choose to get one big turn with all your loco weed. Right. And then they're worth v 
very little, but you got so far ahead right. that you went off the edge of the spoon and needed the refill bowl. You keep talking about weed, man. I'm, I'm a little worried. I understand. Don't. Okay. Don't. It really it should be family. called like it should be called Loco Holly. Yeah. It <laughs> really. <you> well, <laughs> I didn't name it. The Germans named it. It's okay. not my fault. Okay. Other side of the book, you're gonna get uh, one space for every loco weed that's in your pot. Okay. So the more you have, the more they're worth. Okay. All right. Cool. Thanks. So I'm sure you're thinking, and I can tell because I'm a psychic. Right. Bruce, it's called the Herb Witches. What are you to? Where are the witches? Where the witches at? So you're where gonna the get. Witches at? So you're gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're me. going up. Yeah, we're... you got me. Uh, so you're gonna get three witch pennies, one yeah. copper, one silver, one gold, and three witches come to town that will help you. There are four of each witch color. These are the gold witches. This gold witch says. Give me your gold witch penny. If you do, you can pay just one ruby for either a step on your uh, pot or a refill of your uh, flask. So rather than two pennies a piece, they can, or rather than two rubies a piece, they can be one ruby a piece. Oh, okay. okay. So now if you have seven rubies, you can say, I'll take six steps and refill okay. my flask. All right. She's, she's... And another gold witch. Okay, where the witch this gold that? witch Keep says, down. look in your bag. Empty your bag. Every one of those chips you have, I'll give you two points apiece. Oh wow! Okay. So let's go to the copper witch. Wow, this copper witch wow. says, "Okay, take the number of rubies you have right now. I will give you that much spending power and an extra buying turn to use it." Yeah. This this witch right here, though, I don't know. This is not even a face a mother can love. I, no. She might. Yeah. <laughs> the silver witch. Hey, hey, give me your silver penny, and if you've exploded, I'll still let you use your potion to take out the last white so that you still haven't exploded. Wow. So they let you break the rules. You can you get one penny for each, and there's one witch in the game, but there are, once again, there are four variations of the different witches. Man. So all kinds of different Man, ways to you play here. a lot of stuff. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of, of stuff, stuff here. in that one. Yeah. Definitely. They didn't take that one half-hearted at all. No, Man. no. Wow. When Wolfgang does this stuff, he's not messing around. That's a lot, man. Um, so that's going to be out of Gen Con, and it should be at your local game store right around the same time. Yeah, that's going to be big. Oh, well, that sure is what we're hoping. But we're not done. Why would we be? More stuff to do. We're not taking a nap in Dusseldorf. We're not sleeping in Cologne. <laughs> We're working. Next, we have the Taverns of Tiffenthal. Yeah. This will be Wolfgang Warsh's next big box game. We are happy to get it. Let me give you the face. This is where oh, the give know. me that. Oh, yeah. look at you. It is going to be the Taverns of Tiffenthal when it comes over here. And basically, we've just done a video about it that you can watch. But since we're live right now, you can't. So let's show you what's you going on. You should see where your hair is falling right now. It's so beautiful. It's Don't you stroke it back. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay. <laughs> Don't you dare. It's beautiful. Oh, let's talk about the game. <laughs> so if you take a look, what's really neat about this, and we're just piling everything on top right, of each right. other, but we have this really cool UI UX where literally you've built a bar, a little bar where you have your little tables. Okay. So much cost, so much cardboard. Yeah, let's go. We got it. And a little bar. It. And you have little places, you have a little dog, and a cash box, and a bishop, and your barrel house. So essentially what this is, is, is this is a deck building game. You're gonna build a deck of patrons and stuff that's gonna to come to your bar. Then there is a dice drafting, where you're actually gonna draft dice and place them in your bar to get more money, so that you can upgrade your bar, so that you can make more beer, which is a secondary currency that you use to get more patrons that come to your bar and they like your upgraded bar, so they pay more money that you can use to upgrade your bar to make better beer, to get more patrons, to make more money, to get more beer, and it creates that engine. Right. Um, which is super duper cool, but what's really neat is, once again, you have this kind of whole bar here. There are four modules, four kind of uh, expansions that come with the game, and they will come in the game as soon as you get it. And once again, you get to build this cool little bar. It's gonna come out fourth quarter. Um, I don't exactly know when. We're saying October, but probably a little bit later. Yeah. Um, but that's not hiding behind a show. It's not right. like, well, you gotta wait to this convention. Yeah. As soon as we get it, we're gonna put it out there so people can get it. Right. As soon as we know the date, we're gonna let everybody know. I mean, if, if, even if you would have lied to me, I would have believed you. I understand. I promise I believe. I understand, I I I but I don't want to. <laughs> I wanna be honest, folks. That's what I work on. Honesty and integrity. You also have the cool little coaster where you roll your dice. What I like about this, one of the neat things I think about the coaster is, so on the other side, it's just like people playing tic-tac-toe. Yeah. There's like a, a stain from the condensation from the yeah. beer glasses. Yeah, talk about the strat. Yeah, I want to see people just kind of get an idea of the Yeah, so what part. you're yeah. gonna do is, and I don't know where the deck of cards, oh, I know where the deck of cards went. Okay. Cool, I can show you now. Okay. So you have your deck of cards, you shuffle them up. You're gonna bring in cards, you're gonna start filling out tables. As soon as all of your tables are filled, you're done. 
I get a bar back, I get a server, I get another table, and I had the best turn I could possibly have. Once this is done, I'm gonna roll my dice. The server tells me I get a die in my color. That's mine. Then I roll the rest of the dice, and we do a dice draft. I grab the dice I want, everybody grabs the dice they want, and then we start placing them. Uh, up at the top, ones and twos are gonna serve your people and make you money. Once again, money upgrades your bar, which helps you get more beer. Over here, I've got my beer guy. My bar back is gonna bring me a beer up. Beer is a secondary currency, once again, that you use to buy patrons, and that you use to buy uh, folks that are gonna come in your bar. Down here, you have a chance to get beer. You can use dice to get beer. You have a vault, you can keep money, and you have all kinds of stuff you can do with your right. dice. You're gonna draft your dice to make the best engine you possibly can to get the best cards for your deck so that they will make you the most money and the most beer so you can keep getting your patrons and so on and so forth. There's a special patron called the Noble. Noble's worth 10 points, and Nobles all sit together. So you're trying to get uh, your bar, and you also can upgrade your bar. So if you take a look like, I can upgrade my barrel now, a die gets me two beer or maybe ones and sixes give me two beer per one and six that I can use to buy people once again to get them into my bar to get more money to right. get better stuff. So this will be coming out in Q4 from North Star Games. We are super excited about it. One last thing, I'm just gonna show you the yeah. box because we've talked about it, but I'm just gonna show you the box here is Oceans. Oceans is on backer kit right now. If you haven't gotten it, if you like uh, the evolution system of games, this is a slightly crunchier version, but still behind a very easy rule set. It's very easy to jump into the game. There's a ton of strategy. If ever you said, I liked evolution, but I wish there was just more variability. I feel like I saw the game after the second play. There is a deck called The Deep with a hundred unique cards with a hundred pieces of art that is just gonna completely change your play experience every time. I'm gonna do one thing. I'm gonna show you a couple pieces of the art do that. from The Deep, which I have here. Let's see what we have. The Leviathan. Like, how cool is that? There's Draconic, you're just like a dragonfish, and you shoot water fire. You've got the gigantic scavenger. We have, I like this one, the cavitation bullet. Ooh, I love so that. So if okay. you ever saw the oatmeal cartoon about the shrimp that moves his hands really fast yeah, and can yeah, boil yeah. the water, that's cavitation. So that's actually, that's it, but in like a bullet form for this game. <laughs> so just so much cool stuff in here. If you're interested in, if you want to check it out, if you back it on Kickstarter right now, you're going to get all the same stuff all the Kickstarter backers got. If not, and you want to wait, I understand. It'll be at your local toy and game store uh, fourth quarter this year. So sometime before December, if all trade wins are favorable. Okay. So there's all the future for North Star Games. So much stuff coming. Yeah, and where can everybody fo follow more information? Oh my like goodness, that? I'm glad you asked. Oh my you goodness. You can come to northstargames.com, right. sign up for our mailing list, you'll find everything. Find us on social media, right. at North Star Games and all social medias. As we've noted, if you're on a social media and we're not there yet, tell me on a social media people are on and I will come to that social media except for TikTok. I don't know what I'm going to do in TikTok other than like this dance. I've seen this dance is oh real hot. Gosh. Where can on people TikTok. follow you? <laughs> uh, you can follow me at Brusco Thinks on Twitter. Uh, you can follow the Party Game Cast featuring the Party Game Cast, a podcast about party games and games you take to parties at Party Game Cast. Uh, and on board games, I'm there too. You can just, just look, just whisper, whisper into a newspaper or uh, a phone book and I'll hear you. Don't worry. Wherever you are, I'll be there. <laughs> Y'all won't be there. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna be. Yeah, I'm gonna be, be there. there. <laughs> Up, Bando. No. All right, party people. As you can see, man, I, I could stay with this man all day. Uh, but I'm out of here. This is Jeremy from Jumbo Live Plays Games. We'll have more coverage throughout the day. Take care, party people. Have a wonderful.